What's up? Back again with a collection update. This time I'm focusing on stuff I got from a trade. A uh, couple things from NWN and a few things from Down With The Most High. Links to everything will be down below. I'm going to start things off with the trade that I did. I traded a record and a few tapes and I got a few tapes and a few records in return. So, first tape I'm going to show. Morbid Angel, Gateways to Annihilation. What a fucking album. My god. This thing is just monstrous front to back. Pro printed tape. Excellent J card with the full artwork there. Lyrics on the back. I'm not the biggest Morbid Angel fan, but I do enjoy them, and I do need more of my collection for them, so I was very excited to get this, so, very cool. Gateways to Annihilation. Next up, my buddy had these and he didn't care for them, so I gladly took them off his hands. Blasphemy, Blood Upon the Altar. This is the NWN tape. And I love how authentic it is to the original. J card. This release is just too good. Nocturnal Slayer, Frost Bay Damnation, War Command, Weltering the Blood Ritual, uh, Nocturnal Slayer. This thing's just ridiculous. He didn't have Fallen Angel of Doom. He did, but he lost it. And uh, we also had Gods of War, another killer. Blasphemy record, the final full length from Blasphemy. Very cool. Great album as well. I don't really have a tape player to listen to these on because my tape deck currently that I have plays too fast, but still great to have these. Live Ritual Friday 13th. Back of the J card. Love that photo. That well, I did Ritual Friday Thirteenth being the reunion show. Then we have Victory Song of the Damned, a rehearsal. Pro tape. Then we have Bought Upon the Sound Space. This is a rehearsal that is ungodly raw. Have the vinyl of all these. This is borderline like noise grind at points. It's pretty ridiculous how raw it is. And then the last tape. It's one that I don't have on vinyl, so I need to get this on vinyl now. This is Desecration of Belo Horizonte, live in Brazilian Ritual 5th Attack. I have 3rd Attack. This is released by Brazilian Ritual and Ross May Cult. Very cool shit. And moving on to vinyl. Uh, here's the records I got from my buddy Keith. First up, Abigail, Intercourse and Lust. This is the Jerkar, I believe. Yeah, Jerkar pressing. There is an NW1 pressing that I plan on getting, which is why he traded this, because he had the NW1 press as well. 
This is a very, very great Black Thrash album. I'm going to censor it like that. Um, killer Black Thrash from Japan. Uh, this comes with... Insert. And it is just on black vinyl. If you're not familiar with Abigail, definitely check them out. They are one of my favorite black thrash bands, period. Uh, they're right up there with Disaster, in my opinion. So if you're a fan of Disaster, I would recommend this. But this is a little bit more old school, I guess you could say. So if this sounds like something that would be up your alley, uh, definitely check this out. Let me get this back in the sleeve. There we go. Hate to fight with these on camera. I usually pause the video for that, but whatever. Uh, moving along. So... Three of these upcoming records I got from my buddy in a trade. Now, I also was getting these in from NWN. I decided to gamble to see if I would get both versions, and luckily I did. So, we're going to start things off with Third World Esoterrorism by Tetragrammicide from India. Uh... This is the black vinyl version, and what I will show you is what came in. Still haven't resleeved these. This is, I have a pretty loose definition when it comes to what music is, and I struggle to call this release in particular music. Uh, it is so raw and abrasive. This band turns out to be very technical and very proficient at their instruments, but you cannot tell from the production on this at all. This is the demos and, I believe, rehearsal recordings of Tetragrammicide. Let me just make sure I read this correct. Uh, previously on release tracks, but they're all from the demo era, which is 2013 to 2015. So you get this insert. You get this ridiculous poster. Do not recommend looking at that for too long. And the vinyl itself. And just the detail of the iron bone head never ceases to amaze me. Like... Lately, just something I absolutely love when labels do is the black flooded inside. And the vinyl itself is absolutely fucking beautiful. This is... Oh. This beautiful merge color. Smash color. There's too many new variations of vinyl colors that I can't even keep up with it now, especially with like Wax Vessel and Silverback Gorilla Records doing what they do. I can't even keep up with it anymore. So, but anyways, let me get this back in the sleeve. Anyways, this is raw as fuck war metal from India. This is very noisy. They include noise influence in their music. It is very raw. It is aggressive. It is abrasive. I do not recommend this for anybody that is just dipping their toes into the style. This is definitely not for you. Then moving along, I got this from my buddy Keith. Typhuri and Wormholes. Indecipherable Anti-Structural Formulae. This is the reissue. I actually had an original press, and it's kind of cool because you can see the difference between the original press and the first the reissue. You can definitely see the color. 
difference. And this is a single pocket jacket with a blue vinyl. This is a gatefold. Well, anyways. This bad boy. It's a gatefold. Love that gatefold. Back cover. And you also get a poster. And the vinyl itself is a single sided 12 inch with a silk screening on the B side. Music on this one is just as noisy and abrasive as the demos. They do not let up. Once again, if you're wanting to dip your toes into war metal and shit, this is definitely not for you. The drums are absolutely inhuman on these releases, all of them. Uh, I can't recommend this shit enough. And then moving along, we have a black version of the first Tetragrammicide record, uh, Primal Incinerators of Mortal Matrix. Got this from Keith. Then got this from NWN. Primal Incinerators of Mortal Matrix. This time... on color. Now, this one, the noise influences are still there, but they're not as raw and abrasive and in your face. They are much more subtle and tamed back in a way. The music is absolutely unrelenting, but the production is much cleaner. And on this one, uh, you can actually hear pretty much everything that's happening, and it is fucking brilliant. This is this really showcases the musicianship of Tetragrammicide in a way that they never showcased before, which I think is fucking awesome. Comes with this huge booklet, which I don't really want to go through and show you everything, but comes with that. And also... Comes with this poster with this on the other side and uh, yeah that's the uh, first tetragram side I know I'm gonna get comments what do I think about the new one it's absolutely brilliant and it could potentially be album of the year for me uh, I'm undecided at the moment. I need some more time with it. I need to pick it up. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on the new album. I need more time with it, but it could potentially be album of the year. The only other thing I can think of that could potentially surpass it for album of the year is this little ditty that I picked up from Down With The Most High. Supremative. Goat Blood Communion. Woo! This is released by Crimson Tide. This is a 2023 release. And holy shit does it slap. I cannot recommend this enough. If you like Fallen Angel of Doom. And if you like Proclamation. This is for you. The production is fantastic on it. If you're not sold by the first groove in the first song that this is Fallen Angel of Doom Worship done right, then I don't know what to tell you. This is such a ridiculously good record. It's painful. I've listened to it probably 10 times since I got it. And I just can't stop listening to it. Um, The only Fallen Angel of Doom Worship I've heard come cl as close to being as good as this is uh, Antichrist, Sacrament of Blood. This is some top tier stuff. I cannot recommend enough. If you don't mind a band being derivative, which I certainly don't mind, uh, 
This is some great shit from Spain. I cannot recommend this enough. Link to it will be down below. Next up, moving along with more noisy black metal and war metal, that type of shit. We have Subjugation 1 by Conflict. This is some really noisy, aggressive, abrasive war metal. This features Ryan Forster from Death Worship, Blasphemy, and Conqueror, and Dominion Fury. Um, I just remembered that off the top of my head for some reason. This was released by New Era. And uh, this is from Sri Lanka. And it's kind of like Tetragrammicide in a sense, but it features a lot more samples, a lot more noise than Tetragrammicide does, but not in the way that Tetragrammicide uses noise. They use it more for interludes, whereas Tetragrammicide will just kind of throw it into a song. Um, the frequencies that they use on this single-sided LP, um, the frequencies that they use will really get into your fucking ears. Like, the pulsating electronic sounds, the harsh frequencies that they use. It's all a very challenging listen to somebody that isn't that familiar with power electronics or noise in general, but if you're in a war metal, this is definitely an album for you because when it kicks in, it fucking shreds. It is ridiculous. And that leads into Subjugation 2 by Conflict. Uh... Same song and dance as Subjugation 1. Uh, just as good, I would say. Whenever I listen to one, I gotta listen to the other. Once again, released by New Era. Fucking awesome photo. And the vinyl itself is pretty cool. It's a white record, but... Silk screen on side B. Uh, if you haven't heard Conflict, I'll have links down below to everything. Uh, definitely check it out. This is some excellent shit from Sri Lanka. I cannot, cannot recommend this enough. Then, we also have... the. The Conflict Records I got from Down with the Most High, along with these last two, along with the uh, Supremative. Titan Blood with Black Pure Essence of Evil. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, Black Pure Essence of Evil. This is the demo compilation for Titan Blood. This is when Ursifer of Eternal Condemnation and Inverted Crucifixion from Gorath and uh, Proclamation was working with titan blood so it's a little bit different this is much more of a raw stripped back sound from titan blood compared to like seven chalices or death or the baneful choir uh it's just much more i don't want to say it's more cavernous i would say it's less cavernous and more of just pure black death with i don't want to say weak vocals but definitely different from what nsk usually does uh, very cool insert. If my research is correct, there's also, uh, rehearsals on this, which is fucking cool. Uh, released by From Below. Never heard of them before, but I'm glad they released this because this is awesome to have. Cannot recommend this enough to people that are fans of Titan Blood, Proclamation, etc., etc. If you're a fan of that, you're going to love this. If you have Titan Blood already in your collection, you have the full lengths, you don't have the demos, you need this. Definitely pick this up and check it out. And the last record I'm going to show is another Titan Blood record. This is Purging Tongues. With the song Purging Tongues and Purging Tongues Demon 1990, which is a rehearsal version. 
At least that's what it sounds like to me of the song Purging Tongues, which is A-OK -okay by me. This is the newest reissue from Nora Evangelia Diabolo. The gatefold is really fucking cool. Love that artwork. Get this insert. Just very cavernous, very, uh, I don't want to say abrasive, but very intense black death from the depths of Spain. I can't recommend this enough. This is just another great black death release I feel like everybody needs to have in their collection. So if you have other releases from Titan Blood, get this. I don't know if I would recommend getting this as my first Titan Blood release. Uh, I would go with Seven Chalices. But if you're on the hunt to get everything by them, this is definitely a worthwhile acquisition. If you are a fan of Cavernous Black Death, this is definitely for you. Check out Titan Blood. Check out Purging Tongues. And that will be it for this update video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.